Hello everyone, this is Amit Don. Just a quick update about uh, the upcoming changes to the Bream uh, Massacre and the Bream World Elite Massacre. So I just got this notification um, in the mail today that starting uh, May 18, which is right here, uh, looks like Bream is going to start charging a foreign currency transaction fee. So this is one of the few uh, massacres available in Canada which would, have, uh, would charge only 0% foreign currency transaction fee. Now that's going to change and they will start charging 1.5% uh, transaction uh, foreign currency transaction fee. Now my primary uh, no foreign currency transaction fee credit card is the Scotia Passport Visa Infinite which also comes with uh, six uh, free lounge passes uh, and other benefits. But uh, the reason I was keeping the Bream a free version of the MasterCard uh, just because this is a MasterCard and I always wanted to be safe uh, so i carry also you know a mastercard and a visa card when i'm traveling in case the visa card doesn't work or there's something wrong with the uh, visa network uh, i was one of the first persons to get a bream uh credit card when they launched in canada and they were like uh that that was a few years ago and then i had the bream world elite mastercard which had annual a fee of uh, 150 dollars at the time then later on what happened, they changed the annual fee to $199. Then I canceled the World Elite MasterCard and I switched to the free version Bream uh, MasterCard, which still had the 0% foreign currency transaction fee. Now it looks like they're also changing the annual fee for their World Elite MasterCard from $199 to $89. And that's a dramatic change. And the reason is obvious. Uh, this credit card actually has no benefits. Uh, you don't get any like you know, free lounge passes or no annual uh, travel credit, no nothing. So I think they, most people cancel their credit card and not willing to pay $199 annual fee for getting nothing. So I think that's the reason they're changing it to $89 per year starting now for the Brim World 8 MasterCard. And also the foreign currency transaction fee uh, they're switching that for the World Elite MasterCard as well, which is going to have 1.5% foreign currency transaction fee from the date. So the only reason people may want to have Brim World Elite MasterCard is because of the insurance benefits. And uh, but you know, you get any other credit card, you'd have the insurance be benefits. Uh, but you know, if you wanna, if you're paying annual fee, uh, my logic is that it's better to get the free lounge access. For example, the Scotia Passport, Visa Infinite or uh, even the uh, BMO uh, has one which has $150 annual fee, but that doesn't have any actually uh, uh, f uh, zero foreign currency transaction fees. You have to pay 2.5% on that. That's why, you know, the Scotia Passport Visa Infinite is, uh, is the most uh, uh, beloved uh, credit cards in Canada for lots of features and benefits. So now I think what I'm going to do, I'll uh, cancel the Bream uh, free version of uh, the credit card because I don't need to pay 1.5% foreign currency transaction fee and my option is going to be right now looks like there's only one option if you are looking for a MasterCard which does not charge foreign currency transaction fees that Amazon uh, foreign uh, Amazon MasterCard uh, offered by MBNA but the only catch is that you have to be a prime member and what happens if you're making any purchases in foreign currency transaction fee then you're going to get back 2.5% Amazon rewards for uh, being a prime member and uh, if you're not a prime member then I think it goes down to I think 1% or 1.5% I'm not sure about the, that but I think 1% or something like that so as long as you're a prime member and you have the Amazon uh, MasterCard then you are fine to make foreign currency transaction fee because you're going to get back the foreign currency transaction fee so basically uh, offsetting your foreign currency fee uh, from 2.5% to 0%. So that's going to be my go-to uh, backup uh, no foreign currency transaction fee credit card from now on. And it is time to cancel the Bream MasterCard. And I feel that, you know, they are going to be losing lots of uh, clients because of the changes, because, uh, you know, no one is willing to pay 80, even $89. Forget about $199. I think the reason they're uh, lowering it to... 89 because the one was paying 199 but still you know even after 89 dollar per year uh with a 1.5 percent foreign currency transaction i i doubt how many people are willing to keep that card so that's what i wanted to share for the next uh, tips and tricks video i'm going to put a link in the box and i'll see in the next video
Thank you for watching.